In this video, we will learn how to obtain 2-bromopropionic acid. 2-bromopropanoic acid is obtained by introducing a bromine atom into the alpha carbon and replacing it with hydrogen. To obtain 2-bromopropanoic acid, the Helvolid zelinsky halogenation process is used. An acyl bromide is formed by reacting propionic acid with phosphorus tribromide, which replaces the hydroxyl group of the carboxyl group for bromine. The formation of an enol results in a reaction with another bromine atom in the alpha position. 2-bromopropyl bromide undergoes hydrolysis when heated with water to form 2-bromopropionic acid. The initial step we will take is to obtain 2-bromopropionyl bromide. A 250 ml flask was used with a thermometer, reflux condenser, and a pressure equalizing funnel. In the flask we put 3.8 grams red phosphorus, 25 grams of propanoic acid, Weigh 30 grams of bromine under a fume hood, taking care not to inhale and not to spill it. We added bromine to the addition funnel. We connect the outlet of the condenser to the extraction to eliminate the hydrogen bromide vapors that are produced during the reaction. We add a small amount of bromine with stirring. The first vapors of hydrogen bromide have been observed. It has been observed that the temperature increases rapidly to 50 degrees. We cool down with a water bath and continue adding bromine slowly. After adding 30 grams, we added 60 grams of bromine to the addition funnel. The water bath should be kept below 50 degrees. We slowly add 60 grams of bromine. Once all the bromine has been added, we heat it gently for 2 hours. After 30 minutes, most of the bromine has disappeared, so we continue heating. After two hours of reflux, the mixture turns black. Let it cool down. Distill the product obtained in a 100 ml flask, collecting the portion that distills between 115 and 154 degrees. Eliminate any hydrogen bromide vapors by connecting the distillation equipment's outlet to the fume hood. When white fumes appear, stop the distillation process. The 100 ml flask is connected to a reflux condenser and immersed in an ice water bath. Add 10 milliliters of water to the condenser. Continue stirring for 30 minutes. Heating it at reflux for 90 minutes is necessary to complete the hydrolysis. Allow to cool and extract with several portions of ether, then dry with sodium sulfate or anhydrous magnesium sulfate. Evaporate the ether in a hot water bath. 2-bromopropionic acid can be distilled under vacuum by collecting the 124 degree fraction at 20 mm pressure. My purpose of this synthesis was to obtain 2-bromopropanoic acid for the preparation of alanine, which with this purity is already sufficient. 